1941 in Paris, occupied Paris. We see Picasso in a warehouse. He's there to be interrogated. He doesn't know really about what, but he knows that the Third Reich isn't very fond of his work and he hasn't really been permitted to work or at least to exhibit. Into this room comes Fräulein Fischer, Miss Fischer, whose job it is, she says, to authenticate three Picassos so that they could be part of an exhibition. And he identifies three self-portraits, and then she admits that they are not to be exhibited, they are to be burned as uh, decadent art. And he can't let that happen. No, you will not burn my pictures! Picasso. They no. are not your pictures! They are my pictures! They you are sold always them. my they pictures! They don't belong to you no, anymore! No, no. They were purchased and now they belong to the state! No, no, it doesn't matter, you have no right! We have the right, we make the laws! But, but, but why do you need a Picasso? You, you have a, an earth to have a leisure! Why do you need a Picasso? Senor, you know as well as I that no collection is complete without a Picasso! Well, what if these were not my paintings? Would you want to burn them then? Of course not. Good. They are not my paintings. Senor They are Picasso. fake, bad ones. Pray. You have already authenticated them. Oh, show me a paper. Show me an affidavit, a sworn by a sign. Germans believe in documentation. So the rest of the play is each of them trying to achieve uh, a conflicting purpose. Picasso is trying to save his work, and Miss Fisher is trying to burn it, or to get it authenticated in order to burn. She sees this as key to her survival. Picasso obviously sees saving his work as key to his survival. I will make a deal with you. Good, good. Picasso makes deals. I will release two of these if you can affirm they are Every American alive thinks, oh, I know all about what Hitler did. I think I know all about World War II. That was that horrible Holocaust massacre. But there were so many other dimensions to what Hitler was trying to do. The biggest thing he was trying to sell was, I will, I will put Germany back to the glory days, the uh, wonderful, uh, leadership position and cultural leadership position of the 19th century. So Hitler made war on modern art, modern literature, modern music, and what we see here is that war. Picasso is a rock star. He's a huge, he's huge internationally as an artist, as he is 20th century art. And that's why it's so important for her to get destroy something of his. No one wants these pictures. They're not worth it. I know better than you what they are worth. To you, because... Because I study Picasso. I write about Picasso. I am an expert in Picasso. There's always a lot of tension and drama. And also the whole added plot about Miss Fisher really liking his work and then having to, needing to ask him to destroy it. Of course I like your work. You do? Some. Some? Most. Most. Most could be this much more than half. What don't you I am your interrogator, senor. Is it the sex stuff? No. Women don't like the sex stuff. Or so they say. I am not afraid Maybe of Maybe it's your the ballet period. That was a I like the ballet period. Maybe it's the sculpture. I like the sculpture. Some of it or all of it? All. I like all the sculpture, I like all the paintings, I like everything you do, what? you do, because you, yes, because you are Picasso. The power shifts from one character to the other. Who's in charge at any given moment really keeps switching back and forth. And so he's playing mind games with her and she's trying to um, appeal possibly to, uh, let's say, a wider range of emotions on his part. I have the authority to put you in jail for a long time, senor, without paint or a brush. You put Picasso somewhere where he cannot paint you, I just put a bullet through my head. Well, yes, there is that too. Picasso could be snuffed out at her 
at her word, at her command. She feels that her family also could be snuffed out if she can't succeed. And so this is a matter of life or death. This is a story where art is a matter of life or death. 